Hey guys, so right now I'm actually standing in my bathroom because I thought the bathroom gave a much um, more natural light. Sorry if there's kind of like an echo when I'm talking. Anyways, today I actually have no makeup on right now. Um, and that is because I'm going to do um, an update on my skin and the whole birth control against acne thing that I've been doing for one and a half year now. And I'm also going to show you my skin so you can kind of compare it to how it looked like before. Okay, so this is how my face looks like right now and I have no makeup on, I just cleaned my face. Um, so first of all, um, I have a couple of breakouts. Uh, here I actually had a huge breakout but the pimples are starting to fade away and they're starting to become scar scarring um, and that is because I actually forgot to take my birth, birth control pill for two days and I don't know how I actually forgot it so I have a breakout around my mouth and I don't know why so you see I have some of them but they're starting to fade and then I have one active pimple right here and one uh, active pimple under my lips and I don't know why I always break out around my lip area uh, even though I use the birth control pills and it always happens in the winter in the fall, spring and summer I never break out around my lips the rest of my face my cheek area and my chin area I have no acne at all I never break out there I may have one pimple a month on my cheek or on my chin but either way, it's nothing compared to before I actually started using my birth control pills. Before, I actually had around 50, I actually counted my pimples before I started on the birth control pills. And I had 50 pimples all over my face in one day. I still have scarring though. So this is just one pimple, but I don't really care about it. But this is my skin right here. Um, this is just scarring all scarring from before when I actually um, didn't use the birth control pills. And also here, all my scarring. This was actually twice as worse before I started the birth control pills. After I actually got rid of all of the acne, um, I could see all of the scarring I actually had. And I started to use a, a acne cream uh, for like acne scarring and stuff and it has really helped so actually my scarring is starting to fade completely at least the old scarring I still have some new scarring from new pimples from the past year now I'm just going to talk through the whole birth control thing like quickly if you don't want to really watch um, the other videos I've done about birth control before um, I actually start on the birth control pills I had, as I said, around 50, um, 50 pimples on my face every single day and it started around when I started to get my period, around 13 years old and it escalated into high school and it just got worse and worse and high school was probably, my first and second year of high school was probably the worst years of like my life uh, when you think about like skin. July. Uh, 2011 so it's been one and a half years since then and I haven't updated uh, on my skin since like February or something I don't remember I started on the Yasmin one because as I said one of my best friends she also had an acne problem and we decided she was the only friend I knew that actually had the same acne problems as me so we decided to go to the doctor at school and uh, she prescribed us with these jasmine pills. Um, these jasmine birth control pills are specially designed for people who struggle with acne. So I know that's a lot of reasons why people also use birth control pills. It's not just because it's birth control pills. It's also used for, uh, for example, regulating your menstruation or also using it on your skin. And these ones are especially for acne. And I also know that Diane, which is not a birth control brand, also are used for acne, but I have heard and done a lot of research and heard that the Jasmine ones 
uh, gives a better result and they're not as strong as the Diam ones. And basically, before you start the birth control pills, um, they say that you should not have high or low blood pressure because that can kind of um, give side effects like not uh, that you get uh, that you, for example, get nauseated or you get sick or you just have a headache or someone actually gets depressed by using birth control pills. And well, for me, I didn't really get any side effects. I didn't have high or low blood pressure. I actually had perfect blood pressure, which is kind of weird, um, because my mom has low blood pressure and my dad has high blood pressure, so I guess I'm somewhere in the middle, so I'm normal. Um, but anyways, I didn't get any side effects like headaches or having like moody situation where I suddenly got angry or anything for first month. The doctors told me that I would break out a lot because it's kind of because the skin is changing and what the birth control pills actually do which kind of helps against the skin is control the hormones. So when you first, the first month you actually take the birth control pills, actually control the hormones and that is why you break out so much the first couple of months. So uh, that happened to me but so I started in July and in about November the breaking out or the breakout started to go away and my skin cleared completely. I got a couple of pimples here and there but that's like for I had like normal skin like a normal person. I didn't have 50 pimples on my face like two pimples on my face every day is like fantastic for me so I don't really care and so Throughout the whole spring and summer of 2000, 2012, uh, my skin was amazing, and then now my skin is still amazing. Uh, but of course, in the winter, in the winter 2011, also this winter 2012, I break out around my lip area, and I don't know why. If it's like because of the coldness outside, I don't know. So if you have any like advice for me on how to not break out around my lips, um, please tell me anything about it. I also went to London and as I told you I had an enormous breakout on my forehead. And that is because I actually forgot to take my pills two days in a row and I don't know how I actually forgot it and I think it's super weird. But anyway, uh, when I actually found out that I forgot my pill, uh, the third day of actually knowing, uh, I understood uh, or I understood why I actually broke out because throughout the two days I forgot my pill, I actually had I think five pimples on my forehead and I never break out on my forehead. So I think that I'm I don't know I'm kind of afraid of what will happen if I actually stop using the pills because just me forgetting the pill two days in a row. I saw how much I actually broke out on my forehead and that really creeped me out. So for now I'm not going to quit the birth control pills uh, because I just saw uh, how much my skin reacted to that. I myself would say that I really really do recommend birth control pills. Of course um, I was, I don't know how old. Yeah, I was 17 when I started on the birth control pills and where I live you have to be 16 to start on the birth control pills and you don't have to have the parents' permission. But my doctor said to me that she recommended me to have my parents' permission, permission because if you go to the doctor and they ask you what kind of, do you take any medication or anything, you have to say that you go on the birth control pill uh, either way. So if your parents find out in that way, it kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't kind of set my parents in that position. So right away I actually told my parents and they were fine with it because I know they know that I have struggled with acne for so many years. Basically I really do recommend uh, taking birth control pills if you have had uh, acne for many years, uh, more than three years and you basically have done everything to your skin 
uh, if you've gone to the skin doctor or if you tried every product, you clean your face every single day, you eat healthy and you see that nothing changes with your skin, I really do recommend this and I actually recommend talking to your parents. Probably one of the best decisions I've done in my whole life uh, because it has changed my life completely. I'm more confident, I don't need to put on makeup if I'm just going out for like a quick um, tour in the mall or if I'm going to meet friends, I only put a little bit of concealer on my pimples but not on the rest of my skin because my skin is completely clear. I'm such a happy person now compared to like the beginning of 2011 where sometimes I cry because um, I had done everything to keep my skin clear and nothing worked and I was like thinking about what would actually get rid of the pimples. So I'm just so happy that I actually took that decision because I was kind of scared to what if it actually made my skin worse, but I thought it was worth the trial. Anyways, I'm just going to show you quickly before I end this video, um, just a couple of products that I use on my skin on a daily basis. I don't use a lot of products. When I take off my makeup, I always use the simple clean wipes because these ones are with no alcohol, no alcohol, no oil, no perfume, no color, and they have vitamins in them, and they just like one swipe remove all the makeup. So I use this in the evening before I go to bed. Uh, I don't have any toners right now, but I would recommend the Neutrogena toners. The Cleaning Derm, which is just like a um, pharmacy brand. Um, it's by Echo and it's a renewing cleansing foam. I like the cleansing foams better than like the soap bars and stuff. Um, it's, it just has a pump and out when it comes out it's just like a cleansing foam. And I don't know, it feels nicer on the skin and also has like a nice like not too strong smell and a bonus is that the bottle is purple. I always use a mud mask two times a week because every time I take off the mud mask my skin is completely completely clean in my pores and um, if I'm having a bad breakout or anything I always put a mud mask on and the day after most of the breakouts are gone and I can just feel my skin glowing and, and it's amazing. So this is the Epoch mud mask. I just got this as a gift but you know any mud mask will work. And the last thing that is my favorite product is I could like pick between all of the products I would recommend this. So this is for treating your acne scarring and that is the secret to why I have so little acne scarring left after my horrible acne period of like five to six years. So anyway, this is from the body shop and it is tea tree oil cream. Tea tree oil is amazing for treating acne scarring. And this is a tea tree blemish shade night lotion and it is for a blemished skin and it's kind of a small product but you only need it has like a pump and you only need the smallest amount and you just rub it all over your acne scarring before you go to sleep. You don't need it a lot because a lot of tea tree oil on your face will just break out but like two to, uh, two to three times a week is perfect and you will see that your acne scarring actually fades away um, after just a couple of weeks and that is how I actually have gotten rid of most of my acne scarring and why it isn't so red and sensitive anymore. So basically that is all of the products I use and I also use the Clinique uh, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel on my skin before I do my makeup. But basically this, these are the only products I use on my skin for like skincare and stuff. And yeah, if you have any questions, uh, comment below. Um, and also, if you are wondering how my skin actually looks like before I started with the birth control pills, I'm sorry, I don't have any pictures. But if you watch one of my videos, I don't know what it's called, but I'll link it below this video in the info section. 
um, is I'm talking about and also showing my skin before I start the birth control pill and ash and I'll put the link below so you can watch it because I show how horrible my skin is and I actually watched it a couple of months ago just to see how my skin has drastically changed and I was shocked because it was horrible. Um, actually, I actually started almost already crying because of <laughs> it was just so horrible compared to now and I can't imagine that I actually like my skin was like that every single day and it was horrible but anyways I'm just gonna quit this video right now before it gets too long and I'll make sure to do some more videos and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later